Botsford property really? at one time. Um, the caretaker, caretaker house as we know it actually was moved from, it was closer to the, uh, to the uh, Long Acre House. And the man that bought the Long Acre House, Newman Goodenow, actually moved a little further away from, from his home. Probably keeping it in, in uh, connection with the stables. He was he and his family was into riding horses, so this stables building also belonged to Lumen Goodenow as well. Fortunately, his daughter was El Ellie Goodenow married John Spicer, and she became Ellie Spicer, and she then owned the rest of his property, which actually was a gift a wedding present from her aunt because the Spicer house when it was completed was was right around the time of the depression where she couldn't give the house away so she ended up giving the house away as a wedding present to her niece. Uh, her niece uh, basically uh, gave the property to the city of Farmington Hills in roughly 1985 along with it came this house. Um, Cute little house that um, was about 800 square feet. This area of the house will be our um, gift shop. And gift shop, resource area. Um, we, we consider this a, a kind of a receiving area, and that's why we have the cookies and, and whatnot here. Um, the room that was eventually at one point either the parlor to this house or the uh, living room to this house um, is called the Farmington Gallery, where we have uh, on the walls kind of the story, not only of the community, but the uh, evolution of the two cities of Farmington and Farmington Hills. So in here, I'm listening. Yeah, you start here and, and kind of work your way around.